would answer when is my shift really over? I don't know. As a owner, never. Never. As, it's twenty four seven. Now, yeah. I hear a fork drop, and they're like, "How did you hear that?" I'm like, "I have no idea." New superpower. Restaurant punk. What's up? Restaurant, Restaurant punk. punk. George. Got it. What's up? What's up? What, what do you got? got? What do you What's got? got? What you got? Your shirt's a little, want? little not that tight today. You're right. Not tight. Yeah, I'm. I'm actually a little shocked. Ugh. Is that better? Yeah, that's all. Yeah, it's a little more loose. Right. Yeah, yeah. Show me some chest hair. Who yeah, said? you're buttoned up. I yeah, am, I am. But yeah. I am buttoned up. Right. Where's the Greek chest hair? Uh, shaved off. <laughs> <laughs> Man, I, I wish George, I sit next to you. I have no idea. Hi. Who are you? I'm Patrizia. Where'd Hi. you come from? What are you doing here? Why are you on Restaurant Punk? I am on Restaurant Punk. First of all, I'm an avid follower, so go you guys. I love this. Thank you. Love this. All right. Oh, See, right. that's, that's what we roll. I'm talking this about. We have two snacks. This should have happened a long time ago. This should have happened a long time ago, so I'm very happy for you. Uh, much part. appreciated. Thank yeah. you for that. Um, I've been in the restaurant business for... Ooh, I was probably conceived on a pizza oven, honestly, because my family's been in it for a long, long time. I'm from Galloway, Absecan area. Uh, run us through the the history. History. Um, like when a man loves a woman or? Uh, when yeah. She was born on a pizza oven. I'm just saying. There. I don't want to know. Just the, give us uh, the bullet points. You know, points. like the dad came over in the box of spaghetti kind of thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Came yeah. over with the uh -huh. dollar in his pocket. Uh -huh. You know, that we know that story. story. Yeah. Okay. You know the story yeah. very well. All right. And now? And now my brother and I assist my parents with their Italian restaurant and we have a uh, sports bar. So. Uh, so when you say assist, uh, are, is there fighting? Is there in-house no. fighting? Well, it's family. It's family. Of course there's fighting. It's family. Uh, we should have our no own TV show. I would, I uh, we you work with your that brother? Word? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, my God. parents, my brother. God bless you. So yeah. It's a lot. This who, is why we drink. <laughs> Thank you. Amen, sister. Amen. So who do you get along with the best? So now you're talking about, so now there's two, the sports bar and the restaurant. Mm -hmm. Just uh, to clarify for everybody else. Yeah. Two separate locations, correct? Two separate locations, two different monsters. Two different monsters. Oh, monsters. How, how we close use that. Two different right. monsters. Cool. And location-wise, they're two miles apart. Ooh. But they're very different vibes. Yes. One's an Italian restaurant. The other one is more like uh -huh. cheeseburgers, cold beer, allowed to swear. All right. So mom, dad, you and your brother, right? Yes. Four and three brothers. Two brothers. Three of us all together. Three of you all together. Yeah. Is the second brother in the business? Yes. He's my partner. So the third. So that's your second brother. Your third brother, is he also he involved? He dabbles. He's? He dabbles. Dabbles. Okay, so daily we pepper them in. We pepper them in. <laughs> Before we get into our topic, pepper take us into in. like uh, daily operations. Let's say there's four of you. Is your mom also full time? Mm -hmm. Okay, so there's four of you, and there's two locations. Do two of you stay at one and two at the other? Do you guys have your own and you do your own? Is everything separate? For the most part. Are there separate LLCs? Is it yep. one family? Okay, so all two, right. Two LLCs. Yep. Two L. Okay, so day to day operations, it's all split up. Correct. Okay. Do my parents are more uh, at the Italian restaurant running uh, the show their uh -huh. way. I do things like payroll, admin, crap, and my brother is more like in the kitchen to keep people in line uh -huh. when, uh -huh. when need be. Okay. You know, my dad's the type still, he like types with one finger, then I'm like, get out of the way. I do that. So, yeah. so name dropping or no name dropping? Are you going to name drop? You're in Galloway, right? Mm -hmm. No? Okay. Well, I, don't, I don't know. I don't really care. You don't care? What's no. your decision? You can do whatever you want. I'm you have gonna a go topic? later tonight. <laughs> Are you? <laughs> uh, maybe. Cold beer. What's your topic? What do you got? You got something? My topic? You said you had something. I don't have something off the cuff. I have something. I like something on your little paper. Oh, yeah? yeah. What is it? Um, It was number six. I don't remember what it was. You don't remember what your topic it was? It um, was something like, t are you ever off the clock? Like, the, 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 list, the, the list that she speaks of is a list of topics that we have. 400. Uh, actually, it's now 472 topics, right? That we just kind of close our eyes, pick one of the topics. No, one person picks it. One person picks it, and we don't discuss what it is. But now you're telling me you forgot what it was? Uh, let's do a fact check. Fact check! Hey, do you know what number six is, Brock? When is my shift really over? Interesting. Why'd that one catch your eye? And it was number six. Yeah. Interesting. Because when is it really over? You know, you can be like a manager role and you're like clocking out for the night and then you are about to be out the door with your purse on your shoulder and you hear the glass shatter. Like I go back in. Okay. Oh, good one. Shifts I didn't me. even go to the manager owner. I was, I was not. I was kind yeah, of thing. I was, I was an owner. Server, I'm like, bartender, who broke cook? it? And then, you know, everybody looks up at me like deer in headlights because yeah. they know they're going to get yelled at. <laughs> So well, when is my shift really As a manager, over? it's never over. If you're a manager, that aspect. But I mean, like when it comes to like servers or bartenders, I swear the minute they clock out, they want to roll, want to run. So I, I'm going to stay with the manager role. It's, it's a different perspective. Not the owner, the manager. So she made a great example of the manager's leaving and here's a glass break. 
I could make an argument that maybe half of managers would just keep going. Ooh. And now when you say a glass break, um, well, it's also different for me because like, okay, manager role for sure. But like, no one's going to care like I do. No, that's they're not. Of course not. It's th- so of course I'm going to go look at it. It's like if you were in your house and your kid dropped a glass and you were about to go out the door, like you're going to turn back around and see what happened. I would say half of managers, let's say half the managers that are listening to restaurant punk. Now, when I say half would not go back, I think that's in direct treatment of how the owners are treat. Treating the managers, yes. Right, because if they treat them like shit and they hear they a glass give- break and they're on their way out because they got to meet the guys to go to the Eagles game, True. Uh, they might they keep going shit. and say, eh, it's not important. No alarms are going off. I'll take care of it tomorrow. Not my problem. Not my problem. In your situation, you know, somebody that cares or it's family or there's ownership involved, I, I don't think, like George said, I don't think it ever ends because you'll no. get that phone call at 2 a.m. that an alarm went off and somebody has to be there. Yeah. That somebody should be you. So... I would answer, when is my shift really over? I don't know. As a owner, never. Never. I, it's never. 24-7. No, yes. I hear a fork drop, and they're like, how did you hear that? I'm like, I have no idea. New superpower. It's the weirdest thing. So let me ask you a question. Are you always the last person to leave, or are you the first person to leave? So you've been doing mm-hmm. this now since you said you were born on a pizza oven, right? Mm-hmm. And I, I believe there gets to a, it gets to a point to where you are the last one to leave. But the whole goal is to get to a place where you're the first one to leave. And when I say the first one to leave, meaning that in your eyes, everything is Smooth. perfect cool. and it's in good hands. Mm-hmm. So I would ask you, how do you, where are you in that timeline? Ooh. Like, when is your shift over? Like, Depends you go in at day. a day. You should go in at a certain time, correct? Yes. Okay. Depends on the day. Right. Depends on the crowd. Depends uh-huh. on who's working. Uh-huh. Depends if my brother, my partner is like, be there in 20, then I'm like, all right, I'm out or, uh-huh. or whatever. Got caught up then. And I see a like group of 25 walking when a jitney rolls in. When a what? Wedding, when like a wedding jitney rolls in. A jitney? Yeah. Uh, what Everyone is, like. What's a free, jitney? What is a jitney? I think some people might not know what a they jitney have, is. Uh, do they have jitneys? Is there such thing? Jitney? Brock. Wait, you, really? Fact check. Brock. Do you know what a jitney is? You're full of shit. You do? Yeah. You've been on one? No, we're not talking about those trolleys in Cape May, right? We're talking about like the the jitneys. You know what a jitney is. I know, in AC. Yeah, I used to take them all the time. All right, so jitney rolls in, right? And I could have my bag on my shoulder, but then like it's like everyone freezes and we're like, oh man, oh man. It's like, Uh uh uh-huh. what is coming in? Is it a drunk wedding party? Uh Uh-huh. Is it maybe like girls getting off a bus from like a Taylor Swift concert? You never know. You never know. (laughs) You never know. You never know what you're going to get. But everyone is on edge. And then they always bring their own shit in with them. It's what just do you like, mean? Wait, what? They, You're not like, BYOB. Hell no. So we have to be like at the door. And I'm like, hello. Oh, okay. Is the Italian restaurant BYOB? No. So full neither. Bar. Full bar. Both, both locations yeah. have full bars. But people really push the limit. Walking in there with their like can. Are they even trying to hide it? No. No. Give Interesting. Zero f- it's zero illegal, right? F- of course it is. We have a liquor no. license. You're not allowed to do that. So I'm literally like, yo. Solo cup. Get out of here. Is that true? In the state of New Jersey, if you have a liquor license, you cannot bring outside alcohol into that establishment? Of course. Because we're all BYOBs. Yes. No. Meaning bring your own. If you have a liquor license, it is only from that establishment. That is it. Okay. All right. So when is my shift really over? We touched on owners, managers. Let's uh, move on down the chart. Let's say you're a server. For anybody that's a server out there or front of the house. Let's, well, let's, don't say front house. No, let's, let's use yeah specific positions. Yeah, because you see that front house is everything. So when you're a server, when you're serving waiter mm-hmm. waitress, when is your shift normally over? Is it after you've cashed out? Are you the last person to leave? Do servers leave before the kitchen? Yes. Servers leave before the kitchen. Yes, my kitchen's open late in particular. So like the bartender, I guess it really depends on the place. Oh, so it does depend it. on the place. It depends yeah, on the place. It depends on the place. Our servers are. It depends on the place. Most I'm of sorry. our servers sometimes Backup. are the last ones out. They're always the last yeah, ones. Yeah, because so that's why depends. I didn't think of that. Those kitchen guys, gone. Our kitchen is open late, sometimes to one o'clock in the morning. So if my server didn't have any tables and her tables ended at midnight, I, she's not required to stay there because you can also order food through the bartender. So do you or anybody else or the manager have to like sign off on a server leaving? Is there somebody sign that takes off, accountability? Of course. Sign off, no, but collect the drop, yes. Okay, sign off, no, collect the drop. Yeah. Server's done, does all their money, gives side it to the work. person. Side work. Side well, work. what kind of side work? Before we well, go I mean, into the kitchen, 
what is the side work when it comes to your two establishments? Is there a list? Is there just somebody checking up on them? Because I suck at side work. I hate it. I hate it as an employee. I hate it as an owner. I just care about the guest. Sure. I mean, it's not ideal, but like it goes a long way. Side work is honestly like overall cleanliness and upkeep, you know, like wipe Uh around the damn coffee machine. It takes two seconds. Uh Full napkins, silverware. Yeah. Yeah. Very basic things. Like if you killed the lemons, cut more lemons. Whoa, whoa, whoa. We're not talking about killing lemons on you. Whoa, take it easy. All right. (laughs) These Italians, right? Tough. 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 That's right. God damn it. That's right. You're not far off. What's that saying? Una fascia narata? What is it? Yeah, I've heard that one. One base, one rate. What's happening right now? Eh, Italian, Greek, it's the same thing. It's the same shit. It's a complexion thing. Eh, That's what I'm talking about. You know (sighs) what I'm saying? So the kitchen, how about the kitchen? Let's just move on to the kitchen. When is the kitchen done? Is it the same thing? Do they just do a little cleaning? They don't have to do a drop, right? Actually, after the last check goes out, they can just bolt out the back door. Sure. Yeah. But we expect restock, restock, trash, make some orders for tomorrow. Would we say that the kitchen has more responsibility than the server? Yes. yes. A line cook. Let's take a line cook and a server. Who's are we? That's a whole oh. other topic. But <laughs> I was gonna mm. say, take it, take it easy there. I don't think one has more responsibility than who's the other. Who's more important? Just say. Oh, who's more important? Yeah. Oh, back of house all day. Absolutely. All that's right. Day. God damn it. Check no that. disrespect. Write it down. Front of house, love you, but without back of house is the engine. Yeah, between dish prep, uh, everything. Just, no every, food, just, no sales. We live off no the food, house. no sales. Shitty food, no sales. Like the kitchen, <laughs> food service atmosphere. Food. No, I don't really want to get into that. That, that was a whole ugly ass episode. I know, but when is good. my shift over? So, as a manager, as a server, as somebody that works in the kitchen, I would say as an owner, I think we talk about this in Never. the group. Yeah, we talk about Never. this in the group. No. You know, you go to sleep, you're thinking about it. And that's the one thing I would say I don't miss about having a job is that when my shift is over, just like your topic, when my shift was over, done. I never even thought about the restaurant again. I just went on with my life. And once some type of ownership came into play, I would say you don't just leave and it's over you're still thinking about it in the totally. car. And I find myself driving around, not listening to music and still like thinking, thinking, thinking. thinking I thinking. never listen to music in the car anymore. Not, not no. anymore. Why? I, I'm, I, nothing. Oh, I, I don't know. I to. need the quiet. I There's almost to a sickness. Shut it off, I need right? the quiet. See, I can't, I can't, I, I, I can't shut it off. No, you're listening have, to sports radio though too. Well, a lot. But I can listen to sports radio. I can just, cause it shuts it off from, it takes me back to the real world, real world because we are so inept and stuck in our own, uh, restaurants that we cannot think about anything else. But you know what? You have two people here that do not listen to anything in the car. Maybe you should try it. Am it's I calling? so relaxing. It's, it's so relaxing. It's just they're, like I said, we we talked about showers today earlier, and I'm like, I don't like showers. That's they're, weird. Yeah, I, just, I don't like it. It's, I need to have <laughs> Sorry, something you in my life. Yeah. You uh, well, it is restaurant <laughs> punk, right? So, I got a question for you. Okay, oh, I've shoot. got three celebrities. Okay, only one of them has worked in a restaurant in real life. Okay, one of them. Okay, but all three have worked in a restaurant in a movie. Okay. okay? If you get it right, George, you have any cash on you? <laughs> Wait, you asking me? Oh, I do. You want 50 or 100? 100. 100? Okay. Now, one of these people have actually worked in a restaurant in real life. I don't know what's happening all right now. Three, this is so fun. All three. Is this true? Yes, it's for a hundo. Okay. You ready? How do I know this is true? Are you going to fact check? We're this? going to fact check. I already know. I already know the answer. All right. I don't but... know. It just popped into my head as we were talking. I was like, oh, you know what? I got one for you. Okay. You ready? All right. Okay. That's a fake hundred. It What's is that? totally. Mm-hmm. You got the pen? It's Julia I know Roberts, totally got it. Okay. Jennifer Aniston, Catherine Zeta Jones. One of them has worked in a restaurant in real life. All three have worked in a restaurant in the movies. Can you guess which one is right? Don't say it, George. Um, I'm going to go Julia Roberts. Wrong. Julia Roberts, Mystic Pizza, played a server. Sure. Catherine Zeta-Jones was a chef in a movie. No mm-hmm. reservations. I yeah, think. good yes. one. Okay. And Jennifer Aniston was the coffee girl in Friends, right? Mm-hmm. Of course. The true answer is, George, can you guess it? No. Jennifer Aniston. You know why? Because she's f***ing Greek. Restaurant punk, I'm Yanni. George. <laughs> Out. Out. <laughs> what you got? What do you want?